North Central Minnesota Press here, coming at you live from the Crow Wing County Sheriff's Office. Uh, I came to ask the sheriff a couple questions here. I just started the live 20 seconds ago and I got nobody in it yet. Uh, I'd like to wait for a couple people to join here, but I've uh, been outside here grabbing a thumbnail or two and um, and uh, I'd like to get in there because I'm sure there's some eyeballs on me here. So I got a couple questions for the for the for the actual sheriff here who's supposed to be meeting it, who's supposed to be meeting me at three o'clock to talk with me about a couple things. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh good, I got a buddy in here. <coughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> How's it going, Steph? Good, good. Is uh, Sheriff Clang available? Um, one second. Uh, all right, thank you. I guess the meeting's going to be held with the dispatch lady. Oh, with uh, Eric's Turner? In Eric's in a meeting. Yeah. She would wish she would let me know. See, Jessica Turner is the one that, yeah, I know. She's the lieutenant. She's not the responsible authority. Hey, thanks for the thumbs up. The one viewer I got, two viewers I got. Thank you, guys. I think you're going to be meeting with Jessica Turner. Okay. She said in a few minutes she'll be right with me. She'll be right with me in a few minutes. Thanks, Steph. Thank you. You bet. This is Steph. I've talked to her a few times. What is your uh, title, Steph? What is your title here? The front desk. Right? Front, front desk, and your name is Steph, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. cool. What, what do you think about working here? I love what I do. You like what you do? Yeah. Cool, cool. Is there, any, is there anything you want, like, the people to know about your job here? Because uh, I'm sure some people, you probably take a little bit of heat from some people. You know, they come in a little bit uh, stirred up, I would imagine, right? I love what I do. Yeah. And I just like to help people. Sure, sure. All right. All right, yeah. Who's your favorite sheriff? Who's my favorite sheriff? <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I, I, I really do. Eric is a great guy. He, I, you know, and I got to hand it to him, you know. I, I extend Olive Branch after Olive Branch to public officials, and they seem to get burned and chucked back at me like a spear. But um, I will say about uh, Sheriff Klang, um, he at least shows up usually. So that's why I'm kind of surprised that he didn't show up to this one because we had been talking about it for the last week where, where he's going to be here to talk to me, you know, and uh, he never let me know that he was going to have a meeting at this time. You know, it changed from Monday to today, and he is the, ultimately the responsible authority for the records of the sheriff's department from what he says. Do you know who the ultimate authority of the, of the uh, responsible authority of the records here for the sheriff's department is? That is going to be the sheriff himself. So the county administrator, uh, Tim Hool, is not the responsible authority. That I can't. You, for the county. You're not sure. You're not sure. Do you have some insight on that, sir? Well, he's the responsible official for the county. Being the sheriff is a somewhat independent, and it, he's elected on his own. Right. Apart from the board. He would be the responsible authority for the sheriff's department. Right. That's Unlike a city where the police chief is not the responsible authority because he's not elected. Right. So then, by law, the, the default responsible authority would be the city clerk. Who is elected. Or the no, city. they're appointed by, by the city council. No different than the, the county administrator. Uh-oh, uh -oh, we got uh, somebody saying, say it isn't so, the sheriff dodged an appointment, question mark. I'm like, I tell you what, uh, the viewer, I'm not going to say your name live, but um, the viewer that just uh, wrote that, 
Uh, normally, this sheriff is actually pretty good at keeping his appointments. I mean, I've, I mean, he he will answer the phone or an email. He'll he'll uh, usually show up, you know. But um, so that's why I'm kind. Listen to the record, review it, and I'm sure you'd be more than happy to discuss the record in the capacity of a responsible authority if you have any issues with the record. Right, which is what has already happened for the past year. I have already requested the, I have already requested the record, and I have already spoken with Lieutenant Turner, who gave me the record, who I asked to double and triple check to make sure it came from the right day. And she supposedly did double and triple Trouble, check. Oh, there we go. We did get the sheriff. <laughs> no, we you did. did. I'm leaving. Oh, you're leaving. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't. I got, I got to go to, I got to go to this other thing. So Jessica's going to take care of me. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. That's too bad because you're the responsible authority and I've asked her to double and triple check and she said that she has. Well, you're going to actually get a chance to look at it. To look at it myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You won't be able to film the whole thing from that 7 to 730 or whatever. Okay. Once you identify what you want, then yep. you can film it or, or make sure that you get what you want. Okay, okay, that. okay. So because there might be some other Jesus stuff on there sure 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 so. and so the problem is is i'm not going to stop the live you know what i mean i can't stop the i cannot stop the recording so i'm going to have to um i don't know oh, you, you can't know stop the recording. Uh, yeah yeah i can stop it but i'm not going to no, you I know what i mean yeah. you know so um, uh, I, I yeah how would you how do you want, i don't know how you want to do that well, did uh, I tell you what? Did you look at? Did you listen to the recording? No, you no, haven't I listened have to recording no, yourself. I was leaving that up to you. Shoot, shoot. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So how long yeah. is this going to be? Over an hour or stuff you're going to listen. To? I I wouldn't think so. Hello, Lieutenant Turner. I appreciate that American flag on your, on your uniform. Oh, they say they like the American flag on your uniform, sir. Thank you. Thank yeah, you very yeah. Much. You appreciate betcha. That. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Um, Let's see. Oh, so she did bring a computer out with her. Okay, good. And so my concern here is, is that uh, I requested, and I have a copy of the request in my pocket. Yeah. I requested police radio audio communication from uh, a, a stop on April 23rd, 2022. And uh, Lieutenant Turner here, who was also the dispatch supervisor, correct, uh, called me back the next day and uh, asked me if that incident happened on April 24th, 2022. Yep. And that's when the hair stood up on the back of my neck. And uh, I said, no, it didn't. It happened on the 23rd. It's uh, just like my good friend who sent the request and he put 2013 and I know he meant 2023. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, so yes. That's, that's how that could, yes, that's how yes. How and, and, how, and, and so... <laughs> Yes. Or 2023, you mean. Wait, wait, I mean I, 2023. It's like the last I've years, screwed up. Kind of want to block it up I've, like I've screwed up the date on stuff before, too. You know what I mean? I screwed up the date on it. Well, you have an opportunity to verify what you want today. Yes, yes. So. But then when somebody comes back and says, did you mess up the date on this? I say, oh, yes, I did. You know what I mean? Here's the actual correct date where I where I asked Lieutenant Turner a couple times. Right. And, right. and Well, if you, if you wanted to keep it live, we yep. could just... She could just pull that down. Yes, and yes. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have to listen to the Yes, box. yes. You identify the date that you took. A absolutely, and I'll give you time to do that. <laughs> in, uh, uh, <laughs> what do we? Who do we have here? Adam Cronstead. Adam Cronstead. Oh, yes. You threatened to arrest me a few weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so how is it going? Um, uh, just the, the action, his stop only. I can't do that. Oh, you have to, you have to because play the whole thing. in our radio system, it only ha it has so it was on law one. It's all in order. I don't know which one is which. It's not identified by traffic stop. Okay. It's identified by time stamp. By time stamp. So, I mean, if, maybe this should resolve things. You, you pause that for a second. I'll be a witness. Okay. Of things. All right. In the meantime, or all we, right. Will that resolve or everything? Or we turn it off and we play and you identify which ones. Hey, hey, viewers! How do you how do you mute this thing? Because I'd be I'd be willing to mute it while we look through, so I can see that you are looking through the April twenty third, twenty twenty two. I'd be willing to mute this, 
you know what I mean? And yes, have you be a witness as to what you heard, you know what I mean, in case we, in case we run into any other thing. Can you do it? Yeah, you can, you can. I've seen people do it. I just don't know how to do it. How, how about this for a solution? We pause your recording. Mute microphone right here. It says mute microphone. So when I'm ready to do that, I, you can watch me hit mute microphone and, and it, it, will, uh, um, it will mute it. So if there's any sensitive information that is not public, uh, uh, it, you know, at least I'd have a witness here that's listening in with me. And then when we get to where there's no more, more uh, questionable information, I would go ahead and turn the microphone back on the live. I just don't want to shut this off on these viewers. You know what I mean? Because... Or when we start, do you want to listen to it first and then you can start your recording? And well, he's already doing it. It's, it's already live. live. Right I'm live right now. Okay, yes, yes. And uh, yes. And so because a lot of times what happens is I don't know how to edit personally. But, you know, I know there's some good editors out there, you know what I mean? So I just go live to, to make it. But there, there, was, there was a couple different issues, and I'm glad uh, uh, mm -hmm. Captain Cronstedt is here because that's Perfect. my second issue that he's, I wanted to talk he's about. The guy, he's yeah, got the yep, he's yep. Stellar yep. Employee, so yep. Really okay, now I haven't worked with Adam Cronstedt on the issue from a few weeks ago. I have worked with Lieutenant Turner on this issue a few times, and I've actually notified you more than once. And yes. there's been no resolve, so uh, can we come to you if there's no resolve or to tell you that there was resolve here? Absolutely. Okay, okay. Expect. So I'll write a follow-up email. Yeah, and right. and one thing that I want to compliment you on is you show up. You know what I mean? You answer the phone, you answer the email, you show up at 3 o'clock when you're supposed to, you show up. You know, get oh. your info, you can always post it for you. I appreciate that. Y yes, yes, okay, okay. And so the, the, the concern we're having, so that's better than most public officials. You guys showed up. I appreciate you showing up. Uh, it's just the follow-up or the resolve, you know, a lot of times even yeah, after we do. Send me an email on it, uh, Matt, okay. and I'll, I'll take care of it. Um, also, share, share your number with me so I have it. Yeah. So that I can uh, send you side text and, and I'll be and just for the oh, yeah. just for the sake of transparency, I actually do block my number to all public officials. I oh, do not okay. give out my phone number to public officials. Right. You know no, what I mean? So, uh, oh, I'm sure they do. Lieutenant Turner called me the yeah. day after I put in the, the the anonymous request. So yeah, I know you guys got it, but. No, I never looked you up. I don't know if you yep, yep. Yeah, so if, well, if you just, because uh, when it comes up no ID, then it sounds like it looks like a scam. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I'm and, always hesitant to ask. And, and I take that into consideration. I'm like, well, he didn't answer my last few phone calls, but I block him, so he didn't know who it was. And I do believe that you would probably answer more of those calls if I didn't block him, so they'll give you that. You know what I mean? So right, thank you for. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, thank you for All setting right. us up, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate yep, it. I'll you see betcha. You I'll see you later. And I'll let you know how, how that went then. Thanks. All right. Are you just going to grab a piece of paper? Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Steph seems to be doing a good job up here, you know. I, everything I've ever asked of her, she's done, you know what I mean? So. Hey, thanks for joining me, guys. I see the six people in my in my uh, in my chat here, and uh, a couple likes. Hit the like button. Tell your friends we're heading back into a restricted area, huh? Holy cow, we must be special. Semi restricted Woods Conference Room. We're heading back into a semi restricted area here. Uh, yeah. So we can see the computer. Sure. Is right here. All right. All right. Hooray for Steph at the front desk. Hey, we got a hooray for Steph at the front you, desk. Uh, you want to make notes as you go? Uh, sure, sure. Well, yes. I kind of go by feel, but let's see what you got here. And let me know when you want me to. Guys, I'm going to have to mute this. If, if there's any other uh, not public information that we're going to be listening to, I'm going to have to mute it. So, uh, I think what we'll do is yeah. um, when I pull up the our recording system mm -hmm. we'll go to the date and time that you ask and oh. we'll have to mute first mute, mute it there and okay we'll just replay it when you unmute it does oh. that sound like a problem? yes that'll work that'll work and we can watch your screen here yeah i don't have anything i don't have anything okay awesome let's check this out 
So our that's our system that we use. I'll open it up. So you can All see. right. So we got the uh, the uh, police radio communication uh, software, correct? Yeah. Or or that houses it? Yes. Yes. All right. You can oh. come around. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. We're gonna. That's kind of see what's going on, real quick. It's just loading. It takes a hot second. Yep. Okay, guys. We're gonna type in the date of the incident, and at that point, I'm gonna have to mute so my. Tell uh, me where to go. April twenty third, two thousand twenty two. Okay. Let's make sure we're hitting April. April twenty. You said. Twenty third. April twenty third. Yep. Okay. So okay. Can you see April. 23rd, 2023, and what is our time frame that we want to listen to? Uh, let's go from uh, let's go from 6:30 should be p.m. 6:30 p.m. Yep, or 6. That's PM. that's going to be a lot of audio because okay. this stop well, didn't happen. It, it's until. only it's only the radio that occurred. It won't be that many hours. Okay. So it's just bits and pieces. Okay, cool. Um, and then until until uh, let's see here. The stop was at 6:48, so you figure what 7:30. So yeah. Condenses all the traffic. Um, what it does is it takes every recording that comes into our system, whether it be 911, admin lines, or any radio traffic on our designated ra radio talk groups. Within that hour. Within that hour. Okay. Yep. I'll okay. Show you what that looks like. Okay. When listening, you're only get, like say there's only 15 minutes of actual traffic. You're only, you're only going to hear be 15 yes. minutes. Yes. So dead air wouldn't be no. there. Okay. No. That's cool. Okay. Yep. This is cool. You're showing this to us. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> So I'm seeing, so, yep, I'm seeing on the dates, uh, 423, 2022, between 630 and 730, okay, and I see so that there's... So I'll just show you what this means. So Law 1, that's our radio one that Brainerd uses to oh, talk over. Okay. So the radio talk group. Okay. Our operator 1 took a phone call. Okay. Um, then we've got our talk groups again. So yep. it's a radio, you can see it's radio. Operator 4 took a phone call. So in this time frame, you can see that our dispatchers answered... We that many on calls. All of them. So the fire channels, the whole works are here. Okay. And then all of the phone calls. So in that amount of time, those are the audio things that they had to deal with. Okay. Okay. Cool. Makes sense? Yep. It does. Uh, any questions there, viewers or Troy? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where's the horse around channel? The I horse around know. channel. Come check me out. I'm doing donuts and <laughs> or something like that. Okay. So here's all the calls that came are... in between 6:30 yeah. and 7:30 on April 23rd, 2022. Okay, and are you familiar with which of these calls uh, was was the specific call that I'm uh, I no requesting? Idea. You have no idea. No idea. I have to go and listen to them all again. We had to go and listen to them. Okay. Because so, I think the last two, time you and I talked was, gosh, what six, eight? I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. It was a few months yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, I do this every day. Yeah, so every day, remember. all day. Okay. Well, you remember the hour or whatever? Right? Yes, yeah, it happened happen. at six forty-eight. So, so you know. Right what around. The traffic sounds like, and yeah. You get the idea so if you want to mute it, we'll sure. start. We'll start. Sure. Talking. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this, guys. I'm gonna leave the. Can I leave the video on? Yep, that's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna show you that I actually am gonna mute the microphone.
All right. Well, maybe we can log right into You're right, Adam. Maybe yeah, that'll work. All right, guys. We have a little sound, uh, a sound system problem because uh, what's going on here, Lieutenant Turner? We cannot hear the audio uh, recordings from uh, April 23rd between 6.30 and... Uh, well, we April can hear them, but we we're can hear them. at my desk instead of on this laptop. Okay, okay. So yeah. this sound is playing on your desktop on desk, right now yeah, and not your laptop. Because they're remoted into my desk. Because they're remoted into her desk, all right? Yeah. And so we're trying to fix this sound. Because so, I don't have it on this laptop. It's, yep, you know, only yep. certain people have access, so... Sure. We're going to try to listen to this... Uh, uh, or, or try to get it to be able to play the sound through your laptop or through the uh this this must be the main computer yes. here that he's logging into okay cool oh, you no. tell me when you need me to mute it again and i won't even you know hear uh talk to cronstead while well, she's logging in there because i don't want to catch any you know uh sense of information yeah i i appreciate what you guys are doing for us you guys got an awesome view here by the way look at that we got the high school we got the uh, high school, looks like a soccer field down there. And then you got the baseball field over around the corner over there. And uh, did you graduate Brainerd High School? I did, 1998. 98? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Uh, I would, uh, that's, you're, you are close, close to, to you. close to me. Yes, did yes. I did not. No, my brother played golf. You probably played with my younger brother. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty good, wasn't he? Did you want to watch me open this? Yes, yes. And so you're opening the same system on right. on this main computer, okay? But I'm not going, I'm not remoting into a desk, I'm remoting right into our system because we're- Right, so right. Say, say Troy. Say Troy, would you, oh here, I'm gonna, so I'm still able to keep it on unmuted right now, okay? Yeah, you're, you're good, I'll let you know how does oh, that sound. Okay, sounds good. Troy, would you look to make sure that the uh, date and the time is correct when she types this back in here? Right, yeah, it'll be a few moments while it loads up. E yep, yep. Am I getting antsy, Adam? Oh, yep, I am. Just because you haven't logged into this particular computer in a long oh, time, I'm sure it's okay. take a while. Oh, we gotta get clearance. <laughs> <laughs> you get antsy, you yep. know, you're so used to it. your desk, it just comes up yes. so fast. And if you have anything that you can't, you know, that's not public data that you're doing here, just let me know. I will mute it. I'll turn the camera away, whatever you need me to do. All right, you bet. Like right across the street, kind of off to the side there. That's the bringer. All right, folks, uh, for those of you just joining, um, I am with Lieutenant and Dispatch Supervisor Jessica Turner and as well as Captain Adam Cronstead. You might recognize Captain Adam Cronstead. A few weeks ago, he threatened to arrest me, but we're starting to patch that up already. And so uh, what we're doing here is I have some police radio communication that uh, in question I requested last July, 13 plus months ago, I requested police radio communication from April 23rd, 2022 between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. Uh, I believe that I got radio communication uh, from the same time period, the same time of day, but from April 24th, 2022 is what I believe I got the uh, police radio communication from. Hey, Adam, do I have to IT? Why don't I have... Do I have permission to use this function? What function are you trying to I just tried to open up higher ground. Oh, you know, I Uh-oh, dispatch supervisor can't get into the dispatch housing <laughs> area. Two different oh, one's ground. on demand and one's record. So I would use on demand, right? Mm -hmm. And you would and the recording is for a different purpose. Mm -hmm. You tried both though? Yeah. I get the same error for both. So is it a policy thing or you, you seriously can't download the file from so, that laptop onto like the desktop and well, just the, use a different audio? I can't on this different. desktop because it's no longer this desktop. So if I were downloaded on the desktop, it would be my desktop downstairs. So because what you're asking is possible. 
but you have to listen to all of them to find which ones you want to be done. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think that's what you're yeah. asking. Yeah. yeah. And just and as the audio being streamed through yeah. the computer, yeah. just get the file somehow well, onto this computer. And field trip number two, do we go down to my office? And again, I'd be very, very careful about what I'm recording around your office. Oh, I don't care. It's right over here. I have to oh. clean up some things. Yes, I would. Can we, can we do yours just because that way we don't have to replace that center stuff? Yeah, absolutely. We'll hang out here. We'll hang out here until uh, we're, we're going to try to get access to this police radio communication. Uh, right now, we can pull up the file, but we can't hear the actual audio, correct? Because the audio is streamed through through her desk, through her desktop. However, it's, there's, there's still an issue there. All right, all right. And so I hope you guys are following us, you viewers. We're trying to listen to police radio. Yes, no problem. We got all day. Um, just to let you viewers know what's going on, we're trying to, since I don't believe that this police radio communication came from April 23rd, 2022, but rather April 24th, 2022, these people uh, are gracious enough to actually show me on the computer that they, they pulled up the audio file from April 23rd, 2022. And, um, but we were having a little uh, problem, a little security issue where um, we're, we're unable to pull up the actual audio. We're able to pull up the file but not listen to the audio because I guess it's streamed through, it's streamed to her desktop. Um, and we're unable to stream it to this laptop or the desktop in this conference room. Uh, so Adam Cronstead, uh, Captain Adam Cronstead is heading to his office. Hopefully he has security to get in there, yes, right? Yes, okay. Because yeah. is he, is he so your supervisor? Yes, he's my Okay, supervisor. okay. So it's Eric? Sheriff, mm -hmm. Andy Bradley is the Andy chief deputy. Andy Bradley is the chief deputy. Right. And then Adam Cronstead is the captain. And Adam Cronstead is the captain. And then under Adam, there are three lieutenants in this office. There's lieutenants next door as well. Okay. And that would be um, myself. Yep. It would be Troy Nash. Okay. And it would be Craig Katzenberger. Okay. Okay. And cool. And then from there, sergeants like Chad Paulson. Right. Okay. Who is the other sergeants? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of them, so there's several. Yeah, there's a few. What do I win? If I oh, 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 no, that's all right. I'm just oh, trying just, to kill. Name. Sure. So John Buchlich, right. Aaron Cronstead. Um, oh, here we go. We're going we're gonna to put that conversation on hold, and we're going to go to... Are we good in here? Yeah, just wait for oh, yep. Session. We'll wait for Jessica. Now we're getting from a semi-restricted area, because there's the exit right there. We're already in a semi-restricted area. Now we're getting deep, deep into the lion's den here. Again, thank you, and I and I appreciate you. Trust me. You know, here's what I got right here for. So how's it going? I'm not even gonna. We good, Captain Adam Constance? Yep. Sure, you know, sure. Pine sure. Tree yep. doing so we're in Captain Adam Cronstead's office. He's flipped around anything that's sensitive here, but we're still not even gonna try to record anything over here on his desk. We're just gonna pull a chair around and look at his computer screen. Any of you guys ever seen a live from inside the? Uh, the in inside the uh, restricted area, uh, the captain's the captain's office. Looking at the captain's computer, man, the, ca the captain's got a pretty nice system set up here, doesn't he? I think it's <laughs> maybe they did some refreshing. So. Right. I think he's he's lucky if you were to see mine when quite as, I'm not quite on the refresh list yet. I was lucky to ever have two screens when I was working in an office. Boy, that was a right. that was a uh, a treat. Yeah. Um, I mean, these don't even look like screens. It looks like just a wall that it comes up on. It's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. <laughs> now watch the system. The, the software is probably not even on his desktop. No, I'm, I'm, it should be. Push comes to shove, Adam will have to lock in because he has it. Mm-hmm.
this line, like a breaking point. You guys, you guys following there, viewers? I think they're, they might be following. We are looking up directly on the computer. Police radio communication. Adam, I think you're going to have to log in yourself. Say that again. I think you're going to have to log in yourself because it's not pulling in my private desktop. All right. It's not pulling in his private desktop. So, I need you to sit over here while I log in and okay. open up the software. Yeah. Because my desktop is full of crap. Stuff. Yeah. Here, I'll just sit right here in the doorway. Okay. Look at no Troy. Worries. I kind of thought this might happen. Yeah. And I'm really trying to be uh, sorry for not showing the viewers everything. Actually, I'm not sorry because some of the, a lot of the stuff's not public data. I'm just after the public data. I don't want the not public data. Well, I kind of want it, but I don't expect to get it. <laughs> so. You ever been in here? No, not back here. Not back here? No. Vault. I just have your computer, so. And just so you know, viewers, uh, we're gonna we're gonna hold tight until we see this, you know, or uh, you know, might be a long live. I didn't think it'd be that long, but we'll. I. The problem probably, the problem probably is you guys could easily pull this up, but not in an area where no it's other info. Yes, yes, in yes. Just, in dispatch where it's used all the time, that's where. Y yes, then we could pull it right up. I, the time comes hey, I actually, I yes, yes, I actually okay. understand that. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. They, they don't usually show people already what they've shown us, so we got to appreciate that. We'll be patient with them. We're gonna hold tight here until we watch that date and those times being typed in and those audio files being pulled up and, and we get to hear them. So we're going on 32 plus minutes already. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Hit the like button when you pull up. We're filming on the exit sign now. So we lost a couple of viewers, but that's all right. They can come back and watch it later if anything fun happens. That's the, uh, that's the belly in there. Well, I apologize that it hasn't been a no, that, we no, that's all right. This is kind of an experiment. So, uh, is I, everybody up here have new computers? Cause it's not Troy's either. Yeah, Troy doesn't have it. Okay. Well, do we take the trip down the stairs? Probably. All right, you're going to have to give me five minutes. Yep. I didn't think we'd be down there. So my yep. Like this. No problem. Go ahead. And no problem. Uh, we are only able to stream the audio through uh, Lieutenant Turner's desktop. And so she's... I'll be right back. Yes, we're going to wait for her to uh, turn over any sensitive information she might have uh, on her desk or in her office. Um, and then she'll return to get us so that uh, we can hopefully listen to the audio recordings right from, right from her desktop computer as she was having trouble stream, streaming them through the laptop. And uh, normally, uh, yeah, but I, I, I don't need it. That's fine. I mean, I suppose I can grab it just in case I need to write anything down. Well, thanks for trying there, Captain Kronstad. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so it just must be that you aren't normally, you don't no, have. No, I always had that software on my computer. Yep. Well, well, it's probably been three weeks now. I got a new computer. Sure. And what IT does is they transfer all the software over onto the new one. Uh-huh. As things get missed, I just tell them, hey, I don't have this. This didn't get transferred. Sure, over. sure. So I don't use that software very often. Yep, yep. So when have, I notice things, I say, hey, 
Sure. Have you, uh, uh, since our interaction there a few weeks ago, have you received any training on what to do if somebody comes into the uh, judicial center with a electronic device now? Have I received training? Y yes. No. I mean, have has, was anything said about um, the interaction we had a few weeks ago by, by anybody in the office no. here? N nothing has been said. No. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay. And so do you still think it was, uh, a, a, it would have been a lawful arrest for obstructing the legal? I've been instructed by my chief deputy and my sheriff, that's exactly what we would be doing. And so it was just the orders from the chief deputy who was who? Andy Bradley. Andy Bradley yeah. and Sheriff Klang. Mm -hmm. And so, and so that's kind of why I came to talk Until to Until that policy procedure has changed over there. Right. As of right now, it hasn't. Right, right. And so you would do the same thing. If I were to come into the judicial center with a recording device, you would do the same thing. There would still be, yes, yep. Yeah, and then there would still be an arrest if I failed to, uh, or if I refused to comply with that. Right, right. But policy it, is where it's at, and he's telling you that he's got people that are telling him to enforce the policy. Yep, yep, yep. And so I talked to them. I, that I tried. Yeah, yeah. And well, so them being the sheriff, the sheriff, Klang, he yes. said he'd be happy to field those questions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's where that yeah. ordinance yeah. falls. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and save the rest of that for the for the sheriff next time we get a hold of him. I wanted to talk to him about it this on this yeah. visit, but uh, we'll see if we can't get that police radio communication because that's. Let's go downstairs sure. by the time we get there. She should be way. she should be good. We're heading out back out of the restricted area, guys. Back out into the public area. Here's the semi-restricted area. And here's the public area. Oh, yeah. Heading downstairs. Yeah, well. And this is public, and now we're going in the restricted area, it appears. There was a key card required for that, and a key card required for this. Double secure area. This is kind of cool. Yep, you betcha. We're in the dispatch area in the this double secure. It's actually used by the public upon request. Oh, it is. Okay, Dick Ross training room. Cool. Really? It's emergency operations center. Sure. Um, and double used as our training. training okay, room. so if there's an emergency, everybody gathers here to figure it's out what to do. Command. Yep. For instance, the first time it was fully utilized up and running was when, right when COVID kicked off, mm -hmm. and when no one didn't know what to do. What to do? Yep. Yeah. Our emergency management director and myself were pretty much the only ones in this building. Cool, cool. And you said it's also used for the public for what purpose? Well, upon request, uh, we hold trainings in here. So uh -huh. typically, um, law enforcement trainings, if we want to bring someone in here, or uh, last time it was utilized, uh, community services had a training in here. It can be used as a meeting space. Um, use it so it's not just long sure so it's inside the restricted area but the public can still get we've had township meetings in here like our annual all township meetings okay we've had two of them oh that would be kind of tricky because it is a secure area and yeah. so there's so that's um come down through the door and um the prop doors open to this point you oh. can't get because this door has security access to it yes. so they won't be able to get into the secure hallway. Yes, yes. So access to restrooms, whatever you need sure, to. Sure, sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so that's it's, the best example. Uh, so it's open. Use this, use this room. Okay, all townships in the county. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? For, for township meetings? For the annual all township board meeting. For the annual all township board meeting. When is that held? I want to say it's in the fall. In the fall normally. We'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled oh, for that. Sure. That's some good information. Last year was held in Crow Wing Township. Okay. So in this building. Down in, in the in Crow Wing Township building. Gotcha. Did we find it, Jessica? Yeah. Or did we get yeah. everything covered? We did, we did. Okay. And is there any way you, or any no, right, in right in here? Yep. Okay. And I'll have 
have you have a seat in one of those back chairs? In one of the back chairs, okay. Now we have, this is your office, huh? This is this is Lieutenant Jessica Turner's office. Now we oh, got. This is not my office. Oh, it's not your office. No, this is the office. dispatch. This is the dispatch supervisor's office. Okay. Here you were so excited about the big screen. Yes. Big screen. Yes. Nice. Yes. Cool. They got a bigger screen so you can see. Cool. But for those that are interested, since you're live, because I always like to plug dispatch. Uh huh. We're looking for employees. She's Here's looking phone for employees. System. So when it's up, we have a mapping system or phone system. This is where we do our dispatching from. Uh huh. And then this is our radio system. Uh huh. This is where we set up the tornado sirens. Oh. This is where we page first responders and fire departments. Wow, so there's a lot of power in these <laughs> keystrokes, huh? Right, and, I, and you were so excited about the three screens. This is one of our six, six, six screens. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we have three stations. So wow, wow. Normally our dispatchers just have two. Right. Two and, one. and so from here, it's no problem to open up the. Uh, Right. to open up the uh, program. Do you mind if I swing a little closer oh, here to, to look at what we're typing in here? Awesome. Good. Awesome. How'd you pull up the camera that's aimed at my house? I don't even know where you live. Just kidding. <laughs> where do you live? No, don't say. Don't say. You can tell me later. Troy, quit messing us up, man. <laughs> we're trying to look for uh, specific public right. data here. Is this the right date? April 23rd, so yes. So when I logged in there before, I saved it so we didn't have to do it again. Okay, cool. So, so it's per login, yep. so it saved it from when we were upstairs. April 23rd, 2022, between 6.30 and 7.30. Yep. Refresh. Refresh. Okay. It's, it's like you've seen this before. No, I haven't, but I'm... Did. five minutes ago. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> I did, actually. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, so now we're to the point that we were at here a few we're minutes gonna back. Yeah, we're going to have to mute... Uh, we're going to have to mute the microphone, folks, so because we're not sure that all of these radio communications are associated with my stop. I don't mind everybody hearing the radio communications associated with my stop. We're going to go ahead and mute it, guys. Listen to some of these and make sure we're listening to uh, uh, what I...
Okay, folks, sorry I had that muted for so long. Uh, what's going on here is Lieutenant Turner is playing all of the audio, the police radio communications from April 23rd, 2022, between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. And I am seeing uh, uh, the first radio communication that we encountered was actually on the audio file that she sent me that she labeled April 23rd, 2022. Uh, just so you guys can know uh, uh, know that. Can we play that one, one more time there? Sure. Just that, that audio. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go Okay, can you tell us what was just said, Lieutenant Turner? I'm gonna play it one more time. Yep, let's play it one more time. It and as it plays, so okay. okay, sounds good. So seven, Officer 725 is calling Bryce, out to our dispatcher. Bryce Johnson, that, Officer Bryce Johnson. That he's going yeah. on on traffic. Yep. My dispatcher is telling him to go ahead. Edward, Viva, Tom, 001. So he's giving out the license plate. The license plate. The plate. He's going over. Yep. Washington North 6th Street is what he's saying is what is when he ran the plate That's when he well, said. I don't know when he ran the plate because okay. it would be in the squad video and I don't know Okay, because it's whenever they entered into their mobile. Sure. So what I, I couldn't tell you that what just happened with that last communication What did he just say about? Uh, uh, North 6th Street So and, and maybe Adam can answer this better than myself mm -hmm. So when he starts to go out on traffic or he's gonna pull someone over mm -hmm. he calls out to dispatch it and mm -hmm. lets them know mm -hmm. so many times they'll say that Right when the vehicle stopped or sometimes they'll say it as the vehicle stopping. Oh, okay. so it depends I don't know what right because he wouldn't have been able to get the plate until he was actually behind behind you yep. And so what he's saying is can we play that one more time? I'd like to hear the that that location it says, it, let's hear well, it. Well, and I, I think there's a second part in this too, just okay. so you know. Okay, yep. So military time at 1849 is what our time set in our dispatch center. Okay. So as you can see, this call started at 1848 yes. and 15 seconds. Yes, so 648, yep. Yeah. So 648, is... he's saying he's running my plate. No, at... he didn't say he's running his plate. Oh. He's saying that he's initiating a traffic stop. Initiating his traffic stop. Yeah. He's saying that at North 6 in Washington. Washington what it is. and North 6. Washington yes. and North yeah. 6. Okay. Because yep. that means that you're on Washington Street, typically. Yep, yep, yep. Does that make yes. sense? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. the, so you say the first road that they're on and then follow Unless by the Unless you're confused and you know the cross street first. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes, <laughs> yes, because that's what I go by. So I know where I'm at on right. Washington. I see right. the cross street first. Uh, you know, yeah, yep. Right. Okay. If I'm wrong, but before you even radioed in, he likely already ran his plate. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you that. I've been following for a well, while. Ahead, ran the play, pull it up. Okay, I'm going to make a stop. Potentially. What is can't, it? Can't confirm or deny that. Well, sure, but I mean, that's pretty standard. What does it sound like to you? Does it sound like he's running the plate at North 6 in Washington, or does it sound like he's uh, initiating the stop at North if 6? that were me and my words, yep. I would be initiating my traffic stop. If I said it that way, yep. that's where I yep. would so, so you don't know for sure, but if it were your stop, that's well, kind of what of our, you would. Our CAD system, our dispatching system, yep. is it has to be in that sequence yep. because it's short script yep. so we can get it out fast. Okay. So they have to say their badge number because that's what we type mm -hmm. in the traffic. Mm -hmm. Then it has to be the license plate and then the location. But then okay. you the squad video for this? I did. So I did get this. Him, yes, so yes, him. yes. And that was, yes. So he would know if he's... Uh, it, 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 would, think, it was both to run the plate and before he initiated the stop is what it sound, is what it looked like on the, on the video. Many times yes. when I call to dispatch a traffic stop, mm -hmm. it may be where I think someone is going to stop, yep. but they actually drive an extra half a block. An extra half or a block. Or an extra quarter mile, depending sure. on the terrain. Sure. And then when I'm 
it finally come to a stop. If it's too far away from the last cross street, I'll say they actually stopped at whatever. Sure, sure, that makes sense. That makes sense. You think you're coming to a stop. Oh, it's not safe to pull over there, or they screwed it up a little while longer. No, okay, now we're at a different stop. So, so sometimes I'll call out a traffic stop and yep. the driver won't actually stop. Like yes, terrible. yes. So it sounds like, okay, so he said North 6, either North running the plate or about to initiate a traffic stop there, North, about North 6 in Washington. They don't tell us when they run the plates. So there's no way that you would know from this radio traffic or in dispatch when he ran a plate. We sure, know that. sure, okay. Was, like you said. You get from the PCA, and I'll tell you down to the second when they do it. You're, you're right. Yeah, you're right. yeah. And it should show on the MBC. Or it show... Or the, um, the, the squad video, the squad video. If they got the, right. maybe on his body cam. Yes, it's, it does say on it does say on the video on the on the both on the dash cam because the the body cam hadn't been activated yet, but it does say on the well, on the dash cam. Up. It's matching up. Yes, it's matching up so far. I'd like to keep listening here. Sure. Uh, and then should we, yeah, un let's it let's mute it again to make sure because we're not skipping any of these communications here. I'm going to go ahead and mute it again. Okay, folks, uh, we did not listen. Okay, so, so far we have CW Law 1 at, uh, at 6.48 and 15 seconds on 4.23 that says he's about to initiate a traffic stop at 6th and at North 6th in Washington, at Washington and North 6th. And now uh, the next communication we have regarding the stop is, what, 40... Eight seconds and 50, well, 40, 48 in 56 seconds. So what, 40 seconds later, about 40 seconds later, 41 seconds later, we hear this. So Washington, North that okay. must have been where you actually pulled over, right? Uh, uh, no, no, oh, okay. that's, that's where I first saw the officer okay. is, is north fourth in washington or washington and north fourth okay. that's where i looked to the left and saw the officer okay. about to go west onto washington from north fourth okay. coming from the old courthouse okay. okay and so and if we can listen to this one more time because i'd like uh captain's uh take on what this is saying here too oops it there it so 725 LP Washington and North 4th Street. What does that mean? Uh, I guess I would... Hey, Pinky. Play again. I didn't... I couldn't hear. Okay, let me just... I can turn this off. So about 40 seconds later, this is what he says. Washington and North Fourth Street. Oh, okay, he didn't say LP. He said, "I'll be at." I'll be at. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be so at. What I, what I made the assumption before is he thought you were going to stop at whatever was North Six. Yep. yep. And he said, oh, "We're yeah, coasting to a stop go. around North Fourth. Okay, yep. so that's, that's yep, yep, yep. That's what he's saying. And now, and now this matches the. Uh, this matches the video. It just doesn't match my my uh, recollection of what happened, because okay. what happened was I I I looked to my left. I, I I was going through downtown. I was door dashing. All right. I was going through downtown, and uh, in the DoorDash app, there is a uh, 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 before we leave the restaurant, there is a, it opens up the delivery screen with the person's name and address, and there's a little button on there that says directions. If you hit that directions button one time, it will pop open a, a, a hands-free navigation system and start spitting out verbal directions. Okay, so as I was going through downtown, I thought it was a little too busy to activate that because I didn't want to look away at all, right? Mm -hmm. And so I got through the downtown area and I got to about the 500 block, right around 5th and, and Washington. Okay. 
and my light turned green on North 4th in Washington. That's when my light turned green and there was no one in front of me. And that's when I, I went down about 5th in Washington, 5th North in Washington. That's when I reached down to activate that hands-free navigation system. And that's when I looked to my left and I saw the officer coming from the old courthouse uh, uh, facing north on, on North 4th, about to make a left or going west on Washington. Okay, he had a red light. He was the first one stopped at his red light. I continued on through that green light and he did, his light didn't turn green until I was just getting off the bridge toward Walgreens. All right, that's when I looked in the rear view and I saw him tearing around that corner, uh, uh, North 4th in Washington. That's not what this radio communication saying at all. Right? Uh, yes, let's see. There yes, know. there might be more. Let's see what else. I will mute it again and we'll go ahead and keep looking at. Okay, folks, we found the next piece of radio communication. Uh, let's go ahead and play this. And last. it's at 654. It's at 654 and, and four seconds, which is about well, just about six minutes. So five and a half minutes after the previous interaction, right? Yep, five forty-eight. Yep. Six right. Minutes. So about he would have a little short of six minutes. Right. Yeah. So he would have already issued the citation. I mean, he would have already been to, I'm right. Not a, right. I'm not a cop, so I don't know, but I'm assuming. I don't know. Right. Right. So uh, this is nearly six minutes, five and a half minutes after the last conversation that said, "I'll be at Washington and North Fourth," and the dispatcher responds with, "Okay, ten four. You and know. The time. Yep. Yep. And the time. Then we don't hear anything else. And I have listened to every one of these uh, recordings in order. In yep. yep. And it, it says nothing else until this third recording here. And we'll go ahead and play that for you here. 1854. So in case if you can understand what it said, it said 725, 100, 10, 8 traffic, which means 10, 8 means I'm clear. Okay. I'm clear the stop. Okay. And then the dispatcher replied with 10, 4 in the time. Okay, and then what is what is one hundred mean? Seven fifty four. So one hundred is what we call dispatch. Okay. So so seven twenty five to one hundred is what he's saying. Yeah, so Here's what I get. Seven twenty five, officer seven twenty five yep. to one hundred we'll, to my dispatch center. We're clear. We'll clear. So we don't. So uh, we don't get to um, the. There's nothing in here that would that would um, tell us where that officer was sitting, right? I mean, there's, there's, it doesn't say anything about, uh, I was on the 900 block. Uh, it doesn't say anything about where the officer was, because the video shows him sitting on the 900 block in behind the building of Batteries Plus, and I'm coming from the east, right? So he's... This is just a radio and a telephone. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but there was nothing... Um, you didn't hear anything about where the officer uh, was. It, it showed where the officer was sitting in the video, which was the 900 block behind the Batteries Plus. It, d it doesn't say anything about that, correct? I mean, you're, 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 you're yes, yes, yes. So the first, the first thing we hear, the farthest east we hear is, um, is uh, North 6th in Washington, where he's fitting on stopping me. And then, and then he says, well, we're actually coming to a stop on North 4th in Washington, Washington and North 4th. That's, that's what I heard. 
Is that what, I mean, that's what you guys heard, right? And that's in your squad video. Yes, and that's the same thing that's in the video, yes. So then everything's matching up. Everything's matching up with the audio communication in the video, yes. Yep, everything's matching up between the audio communication and the video. I, I'm, I mean, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. You're looking at the timestamps. I'm looking at the timestamps on the squad video. I'm looking at it, buddy. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Yes, yes. I am absolutely looking at it. All right. And, and I just don't know how it's possible. I just don't know how it's possible when I, when I. I'll be the first to admit many, many times dealing with these guys, dealing with whatever. You know, you get your passions up a little bit, you get mm -hmm. a little stress, you get a little cortisol going through your veins. Mm -hmm. You swear you remember something. Uh -huh. and it's like you hear words, you hear this and that, and it's like, I swear this happened. Mm -hmm. And then you watch a video and it's like, I swear it happened, well, but this is it. I mean, mm -hmm. yep. I can't really, I've read, I've read briefs opinions from courts and i'm like oh i swear the judge said this oh that, that was so stupid and I, other people even remember it that way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then i reread it and it's like well, that's not exactly how it was sure stated, sure exactly how it happened sure it happens to me all the time and i sure typically pride myself with a fairly decent memory yep yeah just like, things yep. happen man. right it's just that it's brain just automatically fills in blanks mm -hmm. It's just that uh, um, for 16 months now, my story has remained the same. To the officer, to the sergeant, to the lieutenant, to the, to the uh, uh, deputy chief, to the chief, to the city administrator, to the lieutenant dispatch supervisor, to the captain, to the sheriff, to you. You know what I mean? My, There's nothing wrong with that. That's how you remember it. I'm not sure, Pinky. I'm not sure. I, you know, it, it is tough, but I, I tell you, I, I tell you what, I tell you what, Pinky, one of my good viewers just piped up here. I tell you what, they got me, they took me down to this restricted area. We're in the dispatch center, man. And I'm sitting here looking at this. I am sitting here. I, I am sitting here looking at this and they are opening these audio files and letting me listen to them from April 23rd. I mean, it's from April 23rd at the time that I was stopped. I just don't see how that's possible. You know, I just don't see how it's possible. Um, but they did what I asked them to do. They showed me the thing, you know. Do you mind if we just look through to make sure that there's nothing else in there in that time frame uh, uh, with... with Ask me specifically what you're looking for. If, if we can continue doing what we do, mute this and, and look through the rest of those real quick sure. just to make sure, sure that there's nothing else uh, sure. associated with that stop. Absolutely. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and mute it again. All right, folks, we found another communication associated with the stop that was not included in the audio file. And I it think that is, one was on the audio file I sent you. I um, feel like there was four when I sent it to you last year. Nope, I, there was three. Was there was three? for sure three. And so this this police radio communication happened at on 423 2022 at 6.57 and 02 seconds, mm -hmm. which is how long after the... The most recent one is at 6.54, so three minutes. After he cleared the stop. Three minutes yeah. later after he cleared the stop, we got another we got another communication here. Let's listen. Okay. 
So what they just said, if you didn't understand, it was 100, 725, what is your status? Right, so dispatch to 725, what's your status? Okay. But, but he already Checking cleared, he already he cleared. Explain what he was doing. Yes. I don't know 100% because I wasn't in the squad, but I've done this a, yep. a lot of times. I don't drive a squad very much anymore, I drive a desk, but when I used to, <laughs> If I, if I did a written warning or wrote a ticket, I kicked the driver loose, dispatch still shows me a sign to that call. I'm just sitting on the side of the road by myself, adding notes, right. finishing off that call. Right. So my dispatcher, because they haven't heard me, see I'm still signed out, they want to yeah. make sure that you didn't come after me with a club. Right, right, so right. check my status. Okay. And he said, uh, did he say I'm it to me? Yeah, so okay. Then, uh, himself then. Oh. Their computer still right. showed he was assigned to a call. Even though he said over the radio that I'm clear, yeah. that he, the, the, he didn't clear it off the computer. Yes. Okay, okay. Because if he clears it off the computer, he can't put all of his notes in there. It goes off of his computer. Okay, so he's so, got the computer open and sitting there. Yeah. All right. And did you hear anything about location on that last communication? He just said 10 8, right? Which is clear. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, any any questions, viewers, so far? So far, we have three police radio communication. Actually, this is now the fourth police radio communication. This I didn't get on the original audio, which is kind of why I wanted to look through this to see if there was any more. So uh, that's good. We did find one more communication. All right. So we're going to go ahead and mute it. Yep, let's yeah, mute it again. Mute it. Let's mute it again and see if we can find any more regarding this stop.
All right, guys, appreciate uh, appreciate you guys hanging out with us here. Um, I, I I will tell you what, I'll, I'll, get, I'll throw you guys a bone, even though every time I extend an olive branch, it gets, like I said, burned burned up and chucked back at me like a spear. But but I will give you guys uh, uh, some credit for taking me down into this gear area. You literally pulled up your, your dispatch housing software, typed in the data, I watched you type in the data, I watched you refresh it. I, I, I'm, I'm looking at these police radio communications and and it, it shows that those were the police radio communications that Lieutenant Turner sent me, okay? And so I'm seeing that, all right? Is there, I, I mean, I'm looking at it, so I'll hand it to you guys. I'm actually glad I didn't file a complaint because I was going to. I was going to. I, I, um, I still think there's something going on here. Uh, I, I'm now almost convinced that maybe, I, I don't know what's going on, guys. I really don't. Um, but There's what I something going on, and she's not behind it. She's and and behind he's it. not behind it. Right, so, right, right. And and so that much, uh, uh, you know, not apparently, anyways. You know, oh, and so <laughs> and so and so and so. I do appreciate you guys showing me that. That does take care of uh, one of the issues that I came down here for. You know, um, and so we can get back out of the secure area you know i only want to be here for the required you know we got to listen to what we wanted to listen to and my viewers got to listen to it and and i will tell you i'm stumped guys i really am stumped because that is not the version of the events that took place that i remember you know i remember the officer coming uh from my left which was coming from the uh south on north fourth street stopped at a stoplight and as I went through that green light on West Washington, uh, I looked in my rear view, saw him chasing me, and he was flying through town, guys, flying through town, 70 miles an hour, no emergency lights on, and we came to a stop in front of Burger King. So it happened like that. There was, you know, two blocks where, oh, I think we're coming to a stop. It would have been like Southwest 6th and, and Washington. So Washington and Southwest 6th, or Northwest 6th, I'm sorry, Washington and Northwest 6th. And there, if you remember at the time last spring, there was some rocky, there was like a rocky uh, um, shoulder. They were doing work to the shoulder last spring. And so I couldn't find a place to safely pull over. It took me a couple blocks to find a place to safely pull over right in front of Burger King. I remember looking to my left, out in front of me to my left and seeing the, uh, uh, the, the gas station, like where Case, you know, down by where Casey's is now, you know, I, I remember seeing all that, you know, uh, off to my left, other officers uh, driving by, you know, and and I, I remember all this, you know, and my story hasn't changed since the beginning. So that that memory was burned into my brain. And what's what's really puzzling me is the radio communication and what I received as far as video dash and body cam video all match the officer story and so and so literally um i'm convinced something else is going on but i have no evidence of it guys if if there is something going on then maybe it's time to let it go man. it looks like they got away with it if there is something going on it looks like it looks like that's what's going on this time and so but i did learn some things for next time i appreciate you guys showing me this we can get out of here would you like to address my second issue i know it got a little bit i came down here for three different reasons we got one of them taken care of I would, would the other two are the threatened arrest a few weeks ago as well as the yeah, the, sheriff agreed to speak with you the sheriff agreed to speak with me on that there because there's nothing else i can do Yep, yep. And the third one is the officer involved shooting at Highland Scenic Drive uh, Sunday morning, July 30th of this year, 2023, the press release. And that's another reason I wanted to speak with the sheriff himself, because the sheriff himself put out that press release that says that there was one accidental shot fired by the Crowing County tactical team. And uh, people that were involved or around or witnessed the incident sent me pictures with three bullet holes and that 
in the side of that automobile, and that cannot be done with one accidental. Is you wrote it? It said an accidental shot. An accidental discharge. One round was fired. Oh. Say two rounds were fired. Then say three rounds were fired. Okay. Accidental discharge of a weapon. So an accidental. Right, right, right. So an accidental discharge. Two or three bullets might be coming out. An an accidental discharge. I didn't say one, two, three. Mm. And I also noticed the press release did not say. Um, that the suspect had a weapon, that he was coming after, you know, that he was posing an immediate threat or anything like that. And so I was just concerned that there's three bullet holes and two busted out windows in the side of that automobile. And uh, the suspect was not, po I, I understand he committed multiple crimes. <laughs> I'm not trying to prevent the guy from going to jail. The guy committed some crimes, he should go to jail. You know what I mean? But, um, I think members of the general public are held accountable for our crimes at a much higher rate than uh, public officials or, or law enforcement are held accountable. So, crimes, yep. talk to the county attorney's office. Okay. Yeah. So, if there's evidence, crime, if, there's, if there's evidence of a crime, you yes. can hand that over to the county attorney, yes. Don Ryan. Okay. Okay. Yep. He'll talk to you. Sure, sure, sure. I read. Right. And so that's what I'm that's what I'm concerned with is because if there's a policy violation, I mean, I, I can't find one here. Obviously, it, it's you guys are covered here. I'm not finding one. I'm not finding a crime here. You know what I mean? It's just I think we're concerned with is when there are crimes or when there is an evidence of a crime that that I mean, who do we call when the police commit a crime? You know what I mean? You can't call it, the, you know. And so, but you're saying the county attorney, if you believe that there's a crime or that you have evidence of a crime, we can go ahead and report that to the county attorney and give him they our... They'd be the ones to prosecute They'd be the one to prosecute evidence. it. Okay, based upon the evidence. All right. So we don't have to go through a, a law enforcement agency in order to move forward on... If you on want to charge someone with a crime? Yes. Yeah, I would contact a neighboring agency, uh, a higher authority, maybe the best would... Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. Right. So are we are we allowed to bring the evidence directly to the county attorney, though? And I mean, it would, it, because, um, you know, what's the process there? And I'm not saying I'm planning on doing that. I'm just saying for future reference, if, if we have evidence that a law enforcement officer committed, particularly uh, someone in the sheriff's department here committed a crime, we're, I'm just wondering what, what can an individual do about that? If you don't feel it's being handled appropriately, First stop, county attorney's office, and then they can direct you from there. If they see it, if there's a need to do anything further, they'll farm it out to an outside agency. That's so, what they say, farm it out. Sure. So, so that there's no... Con yes, that's what we're concerned yeah, with. Absolutely. Is is uh, I was speaking with a... Uh, uh, a city attorney, a prosecutor from Arizona, and, and I asked them, what happens when you're taking a look at a case and it turns out that the officer committed a crime. What do you do? And she said, well, we hand it back over to internal affairs or, or, or the That's department. Like a policy violation. Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, I asked Criminal her specifically. Would have to be investigated by an outside yes. And she said the same thing that our city attorney said uh, uh, when I was looking into this, that she does not know of a police officer that has ever committed a crime. You know what I mean? And so our city attorney, Kurt Porter, said the same thing. There's been around here. Mm -hmm. At least mm -hmm. you just got prosecuted for committing a crime. Yep, yep. And he was convicted. Yep. So we're worried about those prosecutors having the evidence of, of, of a public official committing a crime in their hands and just dropping the charge so, against the... Yep, yep. So that's... All right, all right. Good enough. Well, I think... We got just about all the information we're going to get from here. Anything else, Troy, or does any of my viewers have any other questions for Lieutenant uh, Dispatch Supervisor Jessica Turner or Captain Adam, Adam Cronstead here? Pinky. Pinky. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a good viewer, man. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. We're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have no electronics in the courtroom policy because it does appear that the, oh, he's, 
it does appear that most of it the, where it all starts. the captain and the who would it be over you captain chief deputy chief deputy are simply following orders over in the judicial center and they've been told that out, out this way okay and they've been told that that is the policy for now they say they're trying to change the policy um but uh, that policy has not been changed yet, and so I'm concerned you aren't the only one who's... I don't you have... For me, is it your match? Maybe match Streets up to date, matching buildings. Yeah, I'm with you, Pinky. I'm with you, and I tell you what, you're the only viewer left. Everybody else is bolted because uh, they saw what this looks like. And so... Um, I got no other strings though. I got no other, nothing else to check here. And so it looks like just next time I'll, I'll record the stop. You know, I think that's the key here is we wouldn't be sitting here 16 months later scratching our heads if I had just recorded the stop in the first place. So uh, I guess in, I guess in, uh, um, in conclusion, that would be my suggestion to everybody watching here is to go ahead and record all of your interactions with public officials, including law enforcement, so that 16 months later, there's not this discrepancy and you're not sitting there scratching your head so that you have it right on video. So I guess that's my suggestion. We're gonna let this go for now. We'll thank uh, Captain Cronstead for our time. And I'm still a little bit salty about the threatened arrest. I gotta tell you, I'm still threatened. I, I'm still a little salty, you know. Um, following orders, okay, you know, but for example, the Nuremberg officers, they were just following orders, you know, and so, and you know what happened with them. And so I'm concerned that you took an oath to the people, you know, uh, to uphold the constitution. And if an order requires you to deprive an individual of the rights guaranteed in that constitution, that it, it just appears that you are gonna follow the orders anyway, as opposed to upholding the oath. Okay, regarding that. All right, all right. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because if, if you believe that what happened there wasn't actually unconstitutional and you weren't depriving me of rights, that would be a different story, you know, but if you knowingly, you know, uh, deprived me of my First Amendment right to free press because I was going in there for public data and to record myself requesting public data, uh, to disseminate to the public, that's what a journalist does, um, that that would be a 1A rights deprivation, you know. Yep, yep. So we'll get a hold of the sheriff regarding that. I was hoping he had time to talk to us today, but these guys have been uh, 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 helping us out and fielding questions for the last hour and 24 minutes. So we'll go ahead and let them get back to work. Um, I realize that every individual can't come in. You can't spend this kind of time with every individual. And so hopefully by, yes, yes, yes. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so I appreciate you taking the time. I understand you can't talk, give every individual this much time. They, they can't give this, thanks, thanks, uh, Captain. We can't give every individual this much time. I understand you have other stuff to do. Uh, hopefully that streamlined it a little bit and some of the public got answers to their questions so that they don't, you know, you, you don't have to deal with every single individual. That's kind of why I do this too. So thank you, Jessica, I appreciate it. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Turner, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. I appreciate you showing that to us. See you guys. Yep, yep. And after seeing that, I am glad I didn't file a complaint because, boy, I was hot. I was ready. I was ready to drop the hammer. But uh, you, you showed me. You showed me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep, you betcha. Yep. Bye, Steph. <laughs> Everybody loves Steph. Holy cow, I've been on this live for an hour and 25 minutes. Man, I need a cigarette. Something terrible. What do you think, boss? It's still on. It's still on. I just, I just cannot. I, I just, I'm not delusional, people. I hope you guys understand that I am not I delusional. Again, it's just misremembered it. Yeah, my friend, my friend here believes I misremembered it, and. Yeah, I've done it a billion times myself. And I tell you what, I don't believe that I misremembered it, but. 
I tell you what, I don't have any evidence that shows that they're that they're covering it up. I just plain old, I ran out of swings, guys. I swung how many times, and I just cannot find the evidence that shows that um, of where I was actually pulled over. And the main deal is, this all detracts from the main deal. The main deal is they have to have reasonable articulable suspicion you've committed a crime in order to detain you in the first place. And if he saw me looking down the whole time, looking down is not unlawful, you know. So all the rest of this is just monkey business, you know. Um, trying to trying to prove that the police report was falsified and that the dash and body cam uh, body cams were tampered with and that the officer was driving through town at 70 miles an hour without his emergency lights on that's that's totally beside the point the main point is that i believe i was pulled over without reasonable articulable suspicion detained without reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime issued a citation without probable cause or any evidence and obviously the city attorney agreed with me because they dismissed the charge last june not this past june but the previous june and i'm just trying to come back to prove some of the some of these allegations against mostly the city police department that that's who i was really mad at was the city police department for for um unlawfully detaining me and issuing the citation and uh the subsequent uh administrative you know, uh, statute violations. Um, Thanks, Pinky. We had a viewer that says, I'm with you because of the consistency of my story. And, and my story has never changed. And I think my buddy here is right we don't have to prove that the police report was falsified or that uh, the dash and body cams were tampered with or that uh, public data was withheld or manipulated. We don't have to prove any of that. All, all we need to do is provide evidence that there was no reasonable articulable suspicion uh, um, in order to make the detention or no probable cause to issue the citation. And so the what I see as the tampered with dash and body cam, I mean, we could, am I right, buddy? We could literally go into court with the tampered with, what I believe to be a tampered with dash and body cam, show that in court as the evidence that there was no uh, reasonable or articulable suspicion or probable cause. That's what I've been saying since the, the start of all this. I, I, you, you haven't established an angle as to why they would through this when it already looks bad enough as it is. Even if they, I mean, why would they tamper with something to give you something that helps you anyhow? That's a good question. That's a good question. And I'll tell you what, uh, I believe it is because he was flying through town at 70 miles an hour with no emergency lights on. My cousin was just killed this past March by a North Carolina, um, by a North Carolina canine deputy. March 3rd of this year, 2023, the canine deputy came through a red light at nearly 100 miles an hour and, and, and T-boned my cousin and his wife. Uh, and, and they both passed away as a result of their injuries. And I do believe that that is the reason that the videos were tampered with and, and the uh, uh, police report was, was falsified is to cover up the fact that he was flying. I mean, from this, from this intersection right here, from this intersection right here, two bikes down there on the main drag, from that intersection, stoplights are there, all the way down to West Washington, which is a mile that way. This guy was flying through here, flying through here on the main drag. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a spin. We've already been on the live. We've already been on the live an hour and a half, so I might shut down the live because looks like people are losing interest street. anyway. What are we What are we doing here, buddy? Going down the Sixth Street on the parking thing. Hold on, let me get a cigarette, dude. I'm dying. I'm dying. Say, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the live. I think that's long enough for one live. Uh, we another swing and a miss here, guys. I I might be done investigating. Uh, investigating this.
because I got nothing else to go by. Again, make sure you record every interaction with every public official. Just that is just the only way to stay out of a out of a 16 month long headache is to just record every interaction they come in hot they come in hot and sometimes i just froze myself you know i didn't want to touch my cell phone because that's what i was being accused of so i just froze but you saw that they tried to get me to shut my live down when i first got here and the sheriff kind of disappeared um when the hard questions came out you know i hope you guys saw that um, and so just make sure do not shut your camera off guys it, even if they're offering you well if we can't get you the information unless you shut your camera off whatever you do don't shut the camera off but we're heading out let me make sure I got my car locked here buddy there it is it's locked I'm just we just came out of the Crowing County Sheriff's Department they showed me they, sh they let me listen to the audio. It matches up with the dash and body cam. Something fishy, but I can't prove it, guys. Sorry, I tried. Uh, on to the next. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, go ahead and share. I know, kind of a boring video because it turns out that we couldn't find the smoking gun. But, um, but such is life. Uh, at least we did end up beat never lose interest catch you later but hey thanks pinky at least we did get the charge dropped so we were not found guilty or convicted of the of the traffic violation so that's good but uh just uh, more in my quest to combat police misconduct per particularly policing for profit and road piracy can't stand it so at least we didn't end up having to pay at least we didn't have end up having to pay these guys they dropped the charge we couldn't we couldn't catch them we couldn't catch them got no evidence of their crime of their alleged crimes we got no evidence of their alleged crimes they're not actual crimes they're not convicted they're alleged crimes i'm a lid i'm alleging that they committed crimes but evidence is thin guys the only thing we have is where is their reasonable or articulable suspicion to make the stop he said he saw me reaching down it's not unlawful to reach down. Could have been reaching for a sandwich. Why is he stopping me? That's the only thing that we got left and the only thing that was there in the first place. So we might roll with that and roll with the fact that the city of Brainerd didn't. Thanks, Pinky. Thanks for letting me stop. And the fact that the city of Brainerd didn't hire me after uh, the following season after filing that complaint. That's about all we have to roll with. Where is the RAS? Where is the PC? Why didn't the city hire me afterwards? I worked there for 12 years. Why didn't they hire me this year? I believe it's because I filed the complaint. But that's where we sit. We might go ahead and file the lawsuit with what we got. I might go ahead and file the lawsuit with what I got which isn't a whole lot, but uh, I might just go ahead with it anyway. That's why, that's kind of what I've been waiting for is to collect all the evidence I possibly can about this deprivation of 4A rights, detaining me without reasonable articulable suspicion, issuing a citation without probable cause, as well as my 1A rights to record in a public area of the judicial center, as well as to petition my government for a redress of grievances because I was retaliated against by Park and Rack. They didn't hire me back after after petitioning my government for a redress of grievances. So we got a whole bunch of deprivation of rights going on here in Brainerd, Growing County. We're heading towards the downtown area. This is a buddy of mine. He's uh he's uh anything else to say, buddy? Me? Yeah. He's good, he says. So I guess we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the live down. We'll fire it back up if anything crazy happens. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.